Hey y'all, welcome back for another GU NCLEX question of the day. Our question today says, the nurse is performing peritoneal dialysis for a client with chronic kidney disease. Which of the following actions should the nurse take? So we are looking for something uh, the nurse should do when performing peritoneal dialysis. And with peritoneal dialysis, we instill dialysate into the peritoneal cavity, let it dwell for a uh, prescribed period of time, and then we drain it. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, option one says to chill the dialysate prior to administration. Uh, this is an incorrect option. We want to warm the dialysate actually before we administer it. Um, it helps with client comfort, first of all, right? We don't want to instill a bunch of cold fluid into somebody's uh, peritoneal cavity. And then also when the fluid is warm, it helps kind of um, dilate those vessels, can help increase urea clearance. Um, so we definitely want warm when we're, when we're talking about peritoneal dialysis, okay? Uh, option two says to perform the exchanges using clean technique. Um, this is an incorrect option. When we are um, doing anything with peritoneal dialysis. It really needs to be sterile technique. We are putting fluid into the peritoneum, not somewhere that fluid normally goes. We don't wanna introduce any kind of bacteria there. We wanna make sure we keep it very sterile. Uh, option three says to maintain the client on bed rest during the dwell period. Uh, this is an incorrect option. Uh, clients don't necessarily need to be on bed rest during the dwell period. We can cap off uh, the system so they can perform like normal kind of ADLs and those kind of things. Um, I wouldn't do anything like strenuous, um, but they can, you know, get up, walk around the house, go get a drink, like those kind of things are totally fine for these clients to do. Uh, option four says to check the client's serum potassium level prior to instilling the dialysate. Um, and this is going to be be a correct option. Um, we know that with dialysis, we can have electrolyte imbalances. Uh, one of those is a potassium imbalance. So when we are pulling extra fluid, we can also lose that potassium, um, which could give us hypokalemia. We could see EKG changes with that and whatnot. So we wanna make sure that we are um, definitely monitoring our client's electrolyte levels um, throughout their um, dialysis treatment. So we'll see y'all tomorrow.